Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. In today's video, I am going to redo my built-in buffet area. And of course, you know me, I'm gonna do it on a budget. All right, if you're new here, hi, I'm Claire. Welcome, come on in, make yourselves comfortable. Do you like a DIY moment? Do you like budget-friendly content? Do you just enjoy watching me do things? If any of the above apply to you, come on in, welcome. And uh, hit that subscribe button if you haven't already. Now. If you're familiar with my house, then you probably know this area. This is a built-in buffet, um, and I have always really loved it. It was really something that attracted me to this house in the first place. It's great for entertaining. We got outlets in it, and it also has these great cupboards down below that are incredible for storage. Um, however, I was getting a little bored with it. I do love my art. I love this sort of pop of color. Uh, but I kind of have been noticing that it's just collecting stuff. All right, so here's all that great stuff. And I thought I should probably give you a nice detailed before of the space. I really absolutely love that this is in our house. Right now it's housing the gerbils, which can kind of be messy up there. I also have uh, just like our vegetables from our garden. We've got some art in there. And the first thing I'm going to do is just clean all this up. I do have these eggs on here that I needed to leave for the rest of the day. We had some quail hatch earlier, but those were just left over and I wanted to see if any of them would hatch and I wanted to give them a little bit of time. None of them did, uh, but that's why they're still there. Uh, and of course, the first thing I'm really going to do is clean these walls for real as much as I could because I'm sticking wallpaper to these bad boys. I know that painting is cheaper than wallpaper. I know this. I know that I'm a budget queen and that I should have picked the cheapest thing. However, I really wanted to make an impact with some great patterned wallpaper. So I decided to go for it, uh, popped off the uh, plates for my uh, outlets. And here's my paper. I searched everywhere on the whole internet to find a peel and stick that would match the blue because I didn't want to get rid of all the blue. Just I wanted wallpaper on this back wall because I am keeping it kind of budget friendly. Uh, I had to buy two rolls of it. It did cost me about $60 in total, uh, but definitely worth it because it made such an impact. This is my second time working with peel and stick. This was a much higher quality peel and stick than I got when I did my basement project. If you want to see me do my basement, I will leave that video down below, but that was a nightmare. It was really, really thin. It ripped really easily. If you misaligned it and you tried to realign it, it would just rip. This, I went for a higher quality, more expensive, more highly reviewed um, wallpaper. I will leave a link to this. It's from Amazon. Uh, if you like it, I would definitely go with this brand again. It was way easier to put up and definitely worth the extra dollars. Um, so yeah, I, I definitely was happy with it. It took a long time. I wanted to be careful and make sure everything lined up. And I'm, I'm happy I went for it. Lately, I've been really into my garden and I kind of have been feeling like some cottage core vibes, but my house is very mid-century modern and I thought this was a way that was like florally and cottagey, but still a little bit mid-century and definitely still fit in with the rest of my decor. And really, it was so simple. I just used a razor knife and this little paint sort of scraper spatula situation. And ah, it was perfect. I was so proud of myself. Next, I needed some shelves, and I went to everyone's favorite Midwest store, Menards, and I got two eight-foot boards. Uh, you got to go through all of them. Make sure you pick out the prettiest one. These were $15 a piece, so I paid 30 bucks for two of them. Wood has gotten a little bit expensive, but still not, not a terrible deal. I am using a stain that I already had, so I did not have to pay for it. Um, and this is the same stain that I've used on every product in my house, my kitchen table, the shelves in my kitchen, uh, my mantle. So this is going to match everything. I know it's kind of warm, which is not super trendy. Everyone's going away from like the warm oranges, but I'm here for it, guys. I don't care. Come at me. I love it. And I just put one little coat on because I didn't want it to be super dark. And now I'm throwing some poly on. I did have to buy this. It was like $20. I didn't have any on hand. Uh, but you know, now I do. And for my next project, I will have it. And that just seals it. 
Now I have my little stud finder and I'm using these little Christmas stickers to label where my studs are. Uh, this was the absolute cheapest stud finder that they sold at Menards. It was like $10. I did already have this, but I did want to point out that they make crazy expensive stud finders and it's just not that necessary unless you're doing something really complicated and you have like water lines behind what you're doing. The cheap one worked just fine. I found those studs without a problem. Now I'm going to throw my brackets in. These shelf brackets were $1.29 a piece. They were the cheapest option that would hold uh, the size and weight of the shelves that I picked. Uh, so uh, yeah, they were, I think I got six of them. So pretty cheap. Originally I was going to go with black, but then at the last second I traded them for white, which I think looks so much better. If I could have had white screws, I would. Maybe I'll go back and like paint the screws white or something. It's probably not that big a deal anyway. And yeah, that's where that shelf's going to go. Looks so good. And then I thought, you know what? These like 50-year-old outlets look terrible. I was like, I'll just clean them. And then I tried to clean them and I was like, no, it's it's not working. But luckily, my husband, he does all the electrical things. I'm very lucky. I just had him swap those out and we already had those so I didn't have to buy them. Next, we're going to talk about lighting. I thought about changing the lighting because that would be exciting, but it wasn't in the budget. So instead, we got this pack of smart light bulbs and they're attached to our Google. So I can just say, Google, make it a party in here and it will with those lights. So definitely not necessary, but definitely fun. And I got three of those light bulbs for 20 bucks. Now we're going to come to the cabinets that I found. I got these on Amazon. They had really good reviews. They were $100 for each cabinet. This was definitely the priciest part of this entire adventure. I spent about 200 bucks on these, uh, but they're really nice. They came together really easily. It wasn't like a big complicated thing. Um, and because we had our studs all figured out, they were super easy to screw into the wall. No drama there. This was actually like a seriously painless situation and I've had to install a lot of things that really uh, were a pain in the butt and this was not one of them so I was very happy about that and then we went ahead and put our shelf right on the top ah it looks so good I was so excited about it Next, we actually uh, wanted to put handles on that matched the other cabinets and the holes didn't line up. So Gianni got some wood filler. He filled the holes that came with it in and then I had to drill new holes in so that our uh, cupboards would match. And even though they're not the exact same cabinet, they look very cohesive and I'm happy with it. Next, we're going to put in that little bottom shelf. This is that other piece of wood. I had to just cut it to size just a little bit off. And we're putting this one on the bottom. This was a little bit tougher to put up there because, you know, it wanted to bow. It didn't want to stick straight to it. So we had to get the right screws. But luckily, I have like a bottomless bucket of screws in our garage and we found the right ones. I decided right in this moment that I really needed a shelf in the middle, but I didn't want to go buy another bit of wood. So I have this leftover piece of wood. If you've been watching me for a long time, you know, when we bought this house, there was a built in loft, like a homemade built in loft in one of the bedrooms. And we took it down and I saved the wood and I just cut that so that it was the right size. It wasn't pretty wood. So I decided to wrap it in the wallpaper and look at that. That shelf didn't cost me anything because I already had those materials. That's why when you save things, like if we ever took this down, I would save all of it and maybe use it for a different project. You never know when you can use it. Next, I'm just cleaning it all up because, guys, it's like basically done. And yeah, it was pretty dusty, but, you know, nothing my little Dyson can't handle. The last little bit is I had to touch up all the paint of all of the nicks and dents I put in the wall when uh, putting those shelves in. So luckily I keep an extra bit of wall paint to just touch up. Ah, and here it is. Oh my gosh, I feel like such a professional. Gianni and I were seriously high-fiving all day that we did this ourselves. All right, you guys, I am so happy with my little buffet makeover. It really only took a couple days and not that much work overall. Um, I am lucky that I do have a handy husband and a dad that knows stuff, and I'm always learning with every project, so, uh, you know, I am lucky. Definitely stay tuned, because in the video directly after this one, I am going to be decorating for fall, and that's when you're really gonna see, see me style these. I have my one little pumpkin out, but you know, you know me, there are way more pumpkins to come. I also ordered a wine rack that's gonna go here, and I don't know, I'll probably be changing it up a lot until I find something 
that I like. I'm not even totally certain what I'm gonna store in these yet. Maybe candles? I don't know. Be sure to leave me a comment down below. What do you think? I know this is kind of like a weird video because, you know, this isn't like a total DIY channel, but this is a budget-friendly channel, and this was a very budget-friendly project. So let me know what you thought down below, and yeah, thanks for watching. I'll see you guys later. Bye!